The CO2 in the atmosphere has reached an all time high, and everyone is wondering how the heck are we going to get rid of it? A scientist may have just solved the very massive problem of global warming. His name is Professor Fernando Uribe Romo, and he's a chemistry professor at the University of Florida. He has proposed a way to purify the Earth's air, and I'm going to break it down for you here on Inform Overload. My name is Charlotte Dobre. Welcome back to another IO video. Don't you just love science? I'm a British scientist. So, this breakthrough process proposed by Professor Uribe Uribe Romo could potentially turn polluting greenhouse gases into clean air, and at the same time, it will also produce clean energy. He and a team of students at the University of Central Florida created a way to trigger artificial photosynthesis. They caused a chemical reaction that breaks down carbon dioxide into harmless organic materials, and they got the idea from plants and how they convert carbon dioxide and sunlight into sugar through the process of photosynthesis. What they propose will produce solar energy instead of plant food. This is huge news guys and scientists have been trying to figure out a way to solve the carbon dioxide problem for years. The reason why it hasn't been achieved until now is that it's very difficult to find a way to make visible light trigger the transformation of CO2 into solar energy. Scientists needed a material that is able to pick up violet to red wavelengths, and the materials that can do this tend to be very rare and expensive. Materials like platinum, uranium and iridium could be used, but they make the process impossible because of how expensive they are. Yuri Romo used titanium. which which is a very common, inexpensive, non-toxic chemical. He then added some organic molecules that absorb those specific colors of light. In doing this, the team successfully transformed CO2 into two kinds of solar fuel. Okay, that's all fine and good and like great job, but how is this gonna solve the global scale problem? Here's what Yuri Bromo said. The idea would be to set up stations that capture large amounts of CO2, like next to a power plant. The gas would be sucked into the station, go through the process, and recycle the greenhouse gases while producing energy energy that would be put into the power plant. If this is taken seriously and it's implemented on a global scale, it could solve the problem of pollution and also provide clean renewable energy to power homes. Who knows, maybe one day in the future, homeowners will be able to buy shingles for their roofs made of this material. This would clean the air in the surrounding area and also provide power. Of course, if the global community doesn't take this seriously, it could prove to be wishful thinking. But I believe it's totally possible for everyone to commit to this. What do you guys think? Would you want to do this to save our Planet? Let me know in those comments down below. Alrighty, it's time to respond to some comments from previous videos. Thunder King 320 said, Normally on a news channel, you get the news, but not in a really fun way. But this news channel makes it fun by making us potatoes and responding to comments and just funny people who tell the news. Oh, well, that's a nice comment. Thanks. So, you think I'm funny? Epic Desire said, Charlotte, I'm a Brit, so I challenge you to do a British accent. Alright, uh, yeah, sure. Um, oh god. I feel like I'm terrible at it. LaDerp said, what was IO's first video? I actually don't know. Bring it up, editors. I'll do this myself. I'm Landon Productions, and this is Fresh Till Death coming together with Landon Productions. We've created information overload, where you will be overloaded with information. Samia said, God is a pen, Charlotte is a highlighter. God drew the world, and Charlotte made it brighter. Oh, that's really nice. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I feel fuzzy. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, that is all for now. Thank you for watching IO, and if you want to keep watching, click one of these two videos right over here.